Hello, this is James Keating. Today, I'm going to be sharing some thoughts on the florette, or on the use of a short machete, a stick, a sword, could be whatever, but it, it, it needs to be long and have a little bit of length in order to have the right leverage and movement that we're seeking to do this particular exercise. At Conte, we call this a three-part florette. Somewhere else, someone else may call it another name. But for us right now, it's just a florete, but what it really is, is a combination of downwards and upwards figure eights in one motion. And it's for a group combat situation. It's not for one person. It's to defend you against a wide range of opponents that are gathered around you. Kind of a web of steel or a protection around you. So we need to understand, starting with one side or the other. So this is in my right hand. And I'm going over to the left side of my body here with a downwards figure eight. I'm going to do an upwards figure eight on the right side of my body. Up, up, up. I'm going to link them with a connecting movement, the florete. So what we're going to see here. is a web of steel about me. How I can add to that, I'll slow it down, is by adjusting like so. Maybe you can see it better if I use a longer training stick. This has a little bit of the retina retention on it to help you see it. I'll slow it down so you can see. So understand, here's the upwards. Here's the downwards. You see the loop in the middle, right there. So allow this, as you turn your body, this will start to go behind me. Be able to make a web around you that defends you. So, once again, getting it? Practice. It's not easy. Loosen up your arm and allow the weapon to do the work. It's an advanced move that any of you can learn. 